Hey, this is Nate Mill. In this video, I will show you how to install a custom ROM to the Droid Razor or Razor Max. More specifically, I will be installing an ice cream sandwich ROM. You will need root and recovery already, so if you don't have those, you can watch my other videos that will be linked in the video description. This is part four of my Droid Razor How To series. So the first step is to go to the link in the video description. which will take you to this website, Droid Hive. Big thanks to Droid Theory for this ROM and the guys behind AOKP. So you will need to register with this site before you can download anything, so there should be a register link up here. You'll then scroll down till you see the download link. Go ahead and click on it and your download should automatically begin. It should download to your download directory. Okay, so once that's done downloading, leave it zipped. Don't unzip it or extract it. You're then going to plug your phone in and change it to disk drive mode. So pull down the notification bar, select USB connection or charge only, whatever's up there, and select USB mass storage press OK. Go ahead and close this Verizon Wireless website. Okay, you then will see your SD card autoplay maybe or you can click start go to computer and you'll see your SD card and your Motorola internal storage. You can put the ROM either place I'm going to put it on the SD card so go ahead and copy the Axiom ROM and paste it onto the SD card. Okay, when it's finished, go ahead and close that and you will need to do the next steps on your phone. At this point, you can unplug your phone, go to your app drawer, and find the Razer Bootstrap app and select Reboot Recovery. Your phone will then boot to Clockwork Mod Recovery. Okay, in Recovery, your volume up will go up, volume down will navigate down, and the power button is used for Select. So navigate down to Mounts and Storage and select, then navigate down to Format System, select Yes, Format, then navigate down to Format Cache, select Yes, navigate down to Format Data, select Yes, Okay, then navigate to go back and select, go down to advanced, select, then wipe Dalvik cache, and select yes, okay, then go back, install zip from SD card, Now you can choose zip from SD card, that will go to the SD card, or if you pasted the ROM onto the internal SD card, that's down here at choose zip from internal SD card. So I'm going to choose choose zip from SD card. I'm going to find Axiom, select, and select yes to flash. All right, when it says install from SD card complete, go ahead and select go back. And then select reboot system now. And then you should see the Axiom boot animation. It will be very loud, so just be prepared.
and later in the video I'll show you how to take out the boot sound if you wish. Go ahead and go through the initial setup. Select your launcher, he includes three. I like the stock one. Okay, so here is our home screen. Um, you should have data. If you don't, you just need to toggle it. So hit menu, settings, more, mobile networks, network mode, select GSM only, wait about 10 seconds or until the screen dims, then select network mode again and switch it back to LTE slash CDMA. At that point you should see your data pop up with 4G or 3G. So there you go. Enjoy ice cream sandwich on your Droid Razor or Razor Max. If you'd like to take out the loud boot animation sound, go ahead and open up the Google Play Store. Search for Root Browser. Browser Light by J. Rummy. Okay, then go ahead and open it. Press continue. Yes. Allow. Navigate to system, media, and then you should see android underscore audio dot mp3. Go ahead and long press it, rename it, and on the end, add dot BAC. You could just delete it if you want, but I created a backup file in case I ever want to bring it back. So there you go. Next time you reboot, it won't have that noise.